マガンデンギャビフィルティネス、Welcome to Japanese Shoe Channel。Today I had a request from audiences and it said Can you please react to Filipino in Korean bar? Thank you. ID name is RL Ladaga. Thank you, RL. Thank you for your recommendation. And 900 Filipinos versus 40,000 Chinese Korean War.、Uh, 7,000 plus Chinese died. Battle of Yudon. Yudon. I don't, I'm not familiar with this place, but Yudon may be in China or、uh, Korea.、Mm. And、uh, this is about、uh, something war against where to wear.、Mm. So, 7 August 1950, President Eli PDO Kui. Kui Rino announced the momentous decision to send Filipino combat troops to the Korean War. This move is the Philippines' answer to the call of UN for armed assistance in thwarting communists.、Mm. Okay, but this content is a little bit long, so it has 32 minutes, so I omit some of parts.、Uh, Or shorten this、uh, content. Okay, let's try this. Try to react to this. But before watching the video, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell to not to miss my future videos. And if you like the video, please share it to your friends and family members. Thank you very much. Salam up. Okay, let's go. So, never forget the best, the、uh, truest, and the noblest of Filipinos in the Korean War.、Mm. So, this is the true story.、Uh. National Historical Commission of the Philippines. June 25, 1915, North Korean Communist Army、uh, stormed across the 38th parallel to invade South Korea. One of the 35,000 North Koreans marched southward and、uh, captured the Seoul. With them forces to help defend South Korea. But we eventually overthrow and forced to temporarily retreat. You and a pair of your allied nations for enforcement. Broke out in 1950. Immediately, the Philippine government, under the leadership of President e l p i d o Quirino, offered to support. Although at that、uh, time, you know, we were still、uh, recovering from the damage of World War II. They said, We have to sacrifice to fulfill the commitment of our country to help a member nation in need. And he says, The price of freedom was something that we fought for with our blood. And we were going to do it again. Authorized under an act of Congress, Republic Act 573, which was passed in early September 1950. It provided the legal authority for a total of five different Philippine battalion combat teams or PEPTOC battalions to help defend the beleaguered South Koreans. Send five battalion combat teams to Korea with a total strength of 7,420 officers and men. 
it was only through the idea of President Toledo that we volunteered. We were never forced. I was young and we were trained, so we were prepared. No second thoughts. And since we had all volunteered, we were a very happy bunch, in spite of the fact that we anticipated hardships and deathly threats on the Korean front. <laughs> Well, when you arrive at Korea, about uh, five-sixths of uh, South Korea was occupied by the North Koreans. Mm. Only one-sixth was uh, occupied by the Allied forces then. Mm. So, North uh, Korea uh, versus Korea, South Korea. I saw Korea mm. badly beaten, ruins. Then the, the civilians were bringing their packs, moving. You could see movement all around. Back and forth, back, because everybody didn't know where to go. Mm. Children crying. Yeah, this is war, so you know. Uh, yeah, so we war is not them good. I don't we like. We suffered the same consequences during World War II when the Japanese started bombing our areas. Mm. But I was say their parents will come rushing towards our door, so I beg for food. The whole people there, Falagam. They're starving. Mm. Very sad life. Very yeah, destructive yeah, yeah. communism. That's why yes, we're yes. expecting. Not a little, this is we're also happening in Ukraine right now by Russia. Then from there, we were transferred to Sariwon. Now, this is the first time we noticed the cold. That was the coldest time during 100 years. The it was 15 degrees below zero. Below <laughs> zero. Extremely it cold. Was 11 November, when we started the first patrol between Mudong up to Shinji, I was leading the group because I was with the tanks. But the farther, farther is there were three jeeps. Now we reinforced them. Then followed by two companies, the Able and Baker companies. Then before we have to cross the hill, which was dividing the area between towns, we have to cross a bend. Now in that bend, farther. There was 45 area by the North Koreans. Mm. For example, this is a hill. There are four lines of trenches. So when we were able to clear that area, mm. they started firing at us. Mm. It was so yeah. surprising that Talagang everybody cannot move because I'm with the tank, no ko sa tank mirong periscope. I tried to look, makita ko, no, nobody was moving because Talagang firing at that area. Pati yung tanki ko na pasubsub doon sa ano. Ang ginawa ko, pinataas ko. Taas ko, nakita ko. Yung mga North Korean troops, they were really talking of maybe attacking. Um, as a soldier, the first thing is safety. And instead of defending yourself, you attack. That's your reaction. You have to kill, to live. So, lubog pas ko sa tanki. Yes, so, this is... Hindi tang, there's a turret. There's yeah, a machine gun. Yeah, this is war. Uh, they have to live for kill for land. Yeah, that's true in, in the war. So even they are not to, they, they don't want to kill people, they need to because they need to survive. Mm. 
kami nila, ito ba't tira sa'yo? Wala na katama. Diba ito ba si God sent fortune? Ano? Ngayon after that, nung nahook pa niya, about mga 30 minutes, eh, there were about 42 dead, at saka about uh, 100 wounded. Ngayon, mm-hmm. yung, yung Amerikano, kinakumulat ako because of that. Then after that, we proceeded to Shinji. Shinji, so it's the part of Immediately so after the area. Battle of New Dong, winter had already set in. The problem oh. was that their uniforms that were issued to them earlier on were not sufficient. Colonel Zor, and here's his leadership. Until such time that you give us this necessary equipment to fight the enemy, we will not move. Well, he was relieved and Colonel Ojeda took over. It was a very sad thing. Pagkatapos niyan, come April na, pumunta kami sa further north. Now, there was a report that they are going to attack the UE troops. Yun doon naman sa Yuldong. Just then, the Chinese and the Koreans were inaugurating the first phase of what they call Chinese Spring Offensive. Mm, okay, so... Ang yan is Yuldong. Ang 10B city nandito, to the right of the city, will be third. Uh, but, uh, and to the left sorry, of the I omit a little. Explain that conclusion because of that while the rest of the battalion went home so my mom on the other hand she showed me and I was personally responsible from those who read what my battalion wanted to get approved to get in At the end of the battle, after four days, there was a recording from the 45th Division that no less than 500 enemy Chinese soldiers were killed by our artillery alone. That's aside from those who we encountered, you know, back at Abing Hill, the Rapate Damendor. We were about to leave, you know, to be relieved by the 14th BGD, and three days before, we sent a patrol between our line Well, that's their fortune. Alam mo, what is akin? This is lucky. I never thought with people how many thousands there firing at me. My mother was totally worried. She kept writing to my father, come home soon. I miss you, sweetheart. She would apologize. I am so sorry to keep bothering you, but I haven't heard from you. All this time. And the stories of my mom, on the other hand, she showed me some of the love letters of dad to her. Mm-hmm. He was pretty romantic. He said he missed the family, he wanted to be home. It must have been quite challenging for him. Mm-hmm. I remember him saying it was the worst time of my life. It was freezing. We were freezing. Mm-hmm. The biggest enemy that they had was the weather, actually, mm-hmm. and homesick. Homesick weather. Dad never left behind any memoirs, but he did send letters to my mom telling her that finally he got his wish and that he's pretty happy that he came home alive from the experience. So someone soldier could go back to the province. Then after about a year, 
I was given orders to join the 14th BCT. When we left the president, Kirino sent us up, he was at the pier. And he told them, just before they left for Korea, and I will go. I sent ahead of you my only son and my son-in-law to offer their blood in the defense of democracy. Thus, my pride will be that with my own flesh and blood, I shall have participated in your coming struggle and victory for the honor and prestige of our country. And that is what he said. We relieved the 19th at Pike Satsang. Under the chestnut orchard, then we were moved to Christmas Hill. That was our last battle. We replaced an American battalion who suffered a lot of casualties. Mm -hmm. so we almost wiped out the one battalion of the 45th Division. To replace them, we have to climb up the hills. And then when we went up that hill, sometimes you vomit the, the smell of the decay. Yeah, because many people uh, died around there that uh, they can also remove that uh, carcasses Then the Chinese the attempted uh, several times to recover the hill. They throw in battalions after battalions to try to inflict as much casualties. They throw in ev practically everything. Parang bushi na yung bala. Like New Year. New Year. Mm. When you fight back in that war, you have everything you need. Artillery, fire support, tank support, aircraft. You can ask for and fire support. Contingent was myself, only one officer and ten enlisted men. And we spent the last day more or less turning on equipment, so we were in fatigues and uh, we were not really in very clean state. While we were waiting for our plane to Tokyo, all of a sudden there was a major with all of the guy ropes asking, Where's the officer of the departing Philippine contingent? I said, uh, I'm, I'm the officer. I said, Can you get your men ready? Because there are three generals who are coming to see you off. And sure enough, to send off a second lieutenant and ten enlisted men. They came with stars and stripes coverings. And uh, that, I think, shows uh, more or less the spirit of democracy that prevailed in that UN organization, where notwithstanding your nationality, notwithstanding mm -hmm. your rank, mm -hmm. as a group, you are considered a Philippine contingent and therefore entitled to the honors of uh, rival or send off. Spirit of patriotism is really enhanced. What an experience to be fighting like that. It is something that I can be proud of. Mm. My family can be proud of. Being part of Pep Talk was one of Daddy's favorite episodes of his life. When he was diagnosed with cancer, the last trip he took was to Korea. He wanted to go back to the 38th parallel to oh, this is just uh... to go back and rekindle those memories. For me, that told me a lot about what he felt about being in the Korean War. Yung kabayanihan, kagitingan, katapangan ng mga Pilipino na sumabak sa Korea ay dapat maligyan ng alaala. It is a moment of remembrance, but it is also a moment of extreme pride that our fathers and my grandfather saw it fit to be part of the democratic principles of freedom, that we did what it took to keep mm. our cherished democracy.
and to all the soldiers that fought hand in hand, side by side, heroes of the pep talk, I salute you all. May the youth, like we do now, and hopefully generations to come, may they never forget mm. the freedoms that were purchased with your blood and your sacrifice. the nation of uh, World War II and the Korean War, and the Vietnam War also after the Korean War, to all of us. And some of us not only suffered from all of this, but some mm. old warriors like uh, were there. But we were happy to do our little humble participation in all of that. Mm. I see. Uh, I don't know much about this war, but uh, my conclusion right now, I don't like war because many people die uh, and uh, in the contents He told me uh, he need to kill people to survive, and that's all of warriors think think of. So even they don't want to kill people, they need to because they don't want to die. It's trade off, super hard trade off. Mm. So I hope uh, we can live peacefully. Mm. happily mm. and uh, uh, live life what they want uh. yeah that's my conclusion okay uh, today's video is it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and push the notification bell to not to miss my future videos and also if you like the video please share it to your friends and family members thanks for watching salam up see you again